Look, the Statue of Liberty. She's holding a sword. Kafka was right. What are you talking about? In his novel, America, Franz Kafka wrote that the first sight that greets Carl Rossman on his arrival in New York is the Statue of Liberty holding a sword in her upraised hand. And people can't see it yet, but they will. Okay, 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 what about hostility? That's it, that's it. I offered them first editions, Persian editions, original manuscripts, and nothing. At rock bottom prices and nothing. They said they'd never heard of me. They don't know Bertolt Brecht. These two, they look like they have time on their hands. <sighs> Hello, my name is Brecht, Bert Brecht. Bertolt Brecht. I wrote a play about what's going on in the neighborhood. Uh, wait a moment. Uh, this is your role and this is yours. Uh, but but I, I must change some words. When we lived in Germany in the 1930s, we saw people of pretty well all classes, how they resisted or knuckled under. You saw the fear of the oppressed and the fear of the oppressors. So you understand what is happening in America today. Meet Roy Cohn. He's been called the man of a thousand lies, New York's most notorious attorney, the legal legend who sent Julius and Ethel Rosenberg to the electric chair, Joseph McCarthy's number one henchman in his war on communism. No one, I repeat, no one is safe from his slander. I hate reds, especially under my bed. <laughs> Commie fags. Watch him as he teaches little Donnie from Queens his secrets of success. <laughs> 